everyone, I'm Keely and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm going to share with you my resolutions for 2020. So firstly a little recap on the last year. Now I made uh, Make 9 and So 6 for the last year and I will insert a picture of them and I, I did terribly <laughs> basically. My So 6 I chose six fabrics and I sewed one of them and my make nine out of all of the ones on there i think i made one completely so i managed to do the freya top freya sweater i made lots of those so happy with that another one of the ones was jeans so i did finish my pair of jeans but i've never worn them because the denim is too stiff so i need to kind of try making some out of some better denim but i've bought jeans and they fit perfectly so not too sure if I'm gonna continue on the kind of jeans track. Maybe some like cord trousers or something. Then I said the Deer and Doe Briere shirt, which I didn't make, I didn't even buy the pattern for that one. I kind of decided not to go ahead with that one. And then making my husband a jumper or a t-shirt. I did make him a jumper, uh, the Paxton sweater, but it didn't really work out. But I did make him a t-shirt, which he really likes. Uh, by just tracing one of his old t-shirts so that worked out really well so I would like to do a bit more of that. Start embroidery, I got the stuff for it but I never really started doing it too much so again that's a skill that I could work on a little bit more. Then I've got trousers, I didn't really get any closer to making trousers, they still are a massive thing on my list, something that I'm still not entirely comfortable with uh, just getting the fitting right and things so that's something that I didn't really tackle and then I've got the like outerwear I got the Anna coat by sew over it and the cocoa jacket by sew over it I didn't try either of those and I'm not even sure I'm not even sure now if I want to tackle a coat or not I'm not really sure then underwear which I didn't even make a start on and then the Jennifer Lauren handmade Bronte tea, which I did try and make, but there was a lot of fitting issues on my shoulders with that. And so I didn't kind of actually complete that make. So I didn't do too well on that. Other resolutions that I thought about are how can I make my fabrics last longer? So thinking about the quality of fabrics that I buy, the techniques that I use and the process. And I did work on that a little bit. Um, so thinking about how often I was washing garments, what temperature I was washing them on, and also using my overlocker now to finish edges. And also think about the quality of fabrics. So I'm trying to buy higher quality fabrics or fabrics that I know would last longer. And also I've very much gone over to kind of cotton based fabrics rather than, I'm, I'm basically trying not to buy po too much polyester based fabrics and things like that. So I am still working on that. So I'm really pleased with my progress with that. And then building my skills, I said about drafting patterns and fitting. So fitting, I've made huge leaps forward, especially attending the Bodice Fitting Masterclass. So I feel like that's going a lot better. I My knowledge about that is a lot better as well. I haven't really done too much more um, in terms of pattern drafting. That's definitely something I would like to do a bit more of. And then my last one was continuing with YouTube and engaging with the community, which I feel like I have done really well. Uh, I feel like I've managed to put a video out nearly every week, apart from in the summer when I was moving house. I feel like that went really well as well. So that's a bit more positive. So I think these more general resolutions went a lot better than the specific make this pattern type thing. Putting that aside, I have decided to still do a make nine this year just because I like the idea of choosing something to do at the start of the year and then really trying to complete it. And I think I've made a few adjustments uh, about what kind of patterns I've chosen. And I think that that will help me in terms of actually getting them done this year, maybe. I am just gonna do a make nine. I'm not gonna do uh, fabrics. I think I'm just gonna choose whatever fabric I want at the time. Although I will be doing is working through my fabrics and thinking about the ones that I've had the longest and actually trying to get those kind of used and really focusing on using my fabric stash, basically. In terms of my Make Nine patterns, so the ones that I've chosen and I will post in pictures, I do hope to do little sketches again of them like I did last year, but I haven't had a chance yet. 
So I've chosen the Rusco Not Dress and T-shirt by Named Clothing. So that's part of the Breaking the Pattern book. Really love the look of the dress and the T-shirt's just a standard T-shirt. I absolutely love a jersey t-shirt so works really well for me and then expanding my skills doing the like layered with the knotted dress. I've also got the Myosotis by Deer and Doe so again expanding my knowledge on woven fabrics but it isn't overly fitted so it means that I can work on that quite easily. I'm going to work on adapting the collar so getting rid of the collar and just having kind of a smooth line or like a kind of t-shaped line here so again working on that working on my gathers with that i've also chosen the carmen hoodie that is by simply sewing magazine and it's a color blocked hoodie i think it looks really cool it gets me into using up some scraps of fabric which i really am looking to do so i do have quite a few scraps and I just think it'll be nice to make something that is good for just lounging around in and also kind of putting in a zip in stretch fabrics. I've not really done that before, so that would work really well for me. I've also chosen to make the Simplicity 8377 cardigan. So this pattern was given to me by Lorianne and it's just another cardigan pattern, but there are a few different versions with like a tie and with splits up the side. So I'd really like to give those a try to just mix it up from using the Blackwood cardigan all the time. Then I've got the Estuary skirt by So Liberated. So simple gathered skirt with a button down front. Again, expanding my skills with the buttonholes, continuing on with that, but also getting into wearing skirts again and also thinking about kind of clashing patterns. So maybe wearing a striped top with a floral patterned skirt and things like that. Really like the idea of combining those two together. I have also chosen the I Am Zebra or I Am Zebra jumper from I Am Patterns. Really like the idea of having the sleeve. So this is the one with the larger kind of sleeve at the cuff. So I've got a fine knit fabric to try that in to see how that would work. But I think I'm gonna kind of, I think I'm gonna copy Button and Pip's idea by getting rid of the poppers on the shoulder. Cause I think most of the fabrics I'm gonna use will be stretchy enough to get over my head. Might even lower the neckline to like accommodate for that. The next, the next one is the Hinterland dress by So Liberated. I really love the kind of easy breezy feel of this, especially in the beautiful pictures on the So Liberated web website and some of the other makes that I've seen on Instagram. So button down front, again, kind of gathers loose woven um, dress, but I'd like to use some of my viscose fabrics. So a really good one for that. Then I've also put the Suki robe by Helen's Closet. So not really a pattern that I'm gonna make loads of probably. I'll probably just make one for wearing and I might even make some as gifts. It was just some, something slightly different. I might even try and make it with French seams because it would be really lovely to just try and really upscale and just finish it and make it really beautiful. And then lastly, I've got the nest skirt by Tilly and the Buttons. And I have started a nest skirt, but I never got a chance to finish it. And I would really like to have some simple kind of denim skirts, maybe cord skirts in my wardrobe, just that I can kind of wear with a cardigan and a t-shirt. And it will make me feel quite stylish in that way. So those are my nine patterns that I want to try. And what I've done is I've sorted them out and I've put them in their own little magazine stand so that they're separated from the rest so I can like have a look and pick those first hopefully. And I'm hoping to be able to actually sew some of those in that the first six months at least and actually be a bit more focused on actually sewing those rather than just being all over the place and just doing whatever I kind of want. And I think that kind of sums up the theme a bit more for 2020. I think 2019, I started to feel the stress of work a lot and I am still feeling that now I'm not through that uh, but I'm really working on that so I'm going to the chiropractor um, as part of that I'm now starting to do exercise now I don't do any exercise and so I need to start to do exercise I need to build, build up my core muscle strength again and as part of that as well I've started meditating and something that has come to my kind of attention is I am very kind of I'm quite hard on myself to be productive and if I think oh I've got to get this done I have to get that done and therefore I feel quite stressed about that which is difficult because obviously you 
choose, I might say, oh, I want to sew a t-shirt, but then if I don't get that done, I'll be really hard on myself. But it's something I want to do, but I kind of make it a, uh, I have to do that. And so that's something I also need to work on. So there's a few things that I'm gonna do in terms of like my life, in including like decluttering. I have already kind of started that with Marie Kondo and the Gretchen Rubin book, Out to Order Inner Calm. And I'm also gonna be reading a lot more around the kind of topic of happiness and things like that, uh, which I have already started to do as well. So I think the theme for the year is gonna be just more kind of planning I don't know I think I'm gonna to have to find the right word but more planning and what what is gonna go along with that is I'm gonna try and plan my sewing makes a little bit more so hopefully doing sketches which I really enjoy drawing out makes and sketching things I've always done that since I was a child I find it so fun and so maybe planning that a little bit more buying fabrics particularly for a make rather than just buying fabric and then allocating them to a make and also using this and I'm going to start a bullet journal. Now lots of people have done these decade in review things on Facebook, on Instagram and I actually used Facebook to look over the last decade of my life. Now this is from when I was 20 to when I'm 30, I'm 31 halfway through the year and so much happened in the last decade I couldn't even like it was incredible really so much happened and the only reason I remember some of those things is because of Facebook so I literally looked back on Facebook and because I'm not posting on there as much more recently I'm losing out on those key moments like 10 years ago I posted statuses like oh I'm really hungry I'm gonna do this I don't post that kind of thing anymore but I would really like to remember my life essentially so that's why I'm gonna use this notebook so it's dotted in the inside oh, you probably can't see here. and I've been watching lots of videos on YouTube about bullet journaling and I bought a book and I'm basically going to start to do that and involved in that is going to be thinking about things that make me happy um, doing habit trackers and making sure that I just I'm more focused on making sure I'm doing the things that actually make me happy. And one of those key things is gonna be seeing family as well. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure that I've kind of got check boxes to make sure I've seen my family a certain amount of time during the month. Because in all honesty, the month flows by and I forget that I haven't seen certain people, which is really not great. Because the month just really does whirl into one and the months just go past and I want to actually document the things that are going on. So that will be with sewing, with YouTube, with things for Instagram, with challenges and events. And I think it'll be really lovely to look back. And I've always been someone that loves to keep a diary. Like as a child, I kept a diary. And I think it'll be really nice for me to do that. So hopefully that's what I will start with this. And kind of along with that, I'm hoping to just be a bit more thoughtful about my makes, about my videos, and just take some time to actually sew, plan my time a bit better. So I've got say a certain amount of sewing time and a certain amount of time to do videos and things like that. And hopefully that will make me feel a little less stressed overall because I will be kind of allocating an appropriate amount of time for different things. So along with that, I'm actually going to potentially reduce the amount of things I'm making each month. Now I kind of think, aim, well, I don't really aim for any number, but I often say, oh, I'll just make 10 items or I've got to sew for the whole day on a Sunday and things like that. And it's really not any good because I'm very much do something and get really focused and drawn into it. So I could start a drawing at nine in the morning and literally not even think about lunch unless my husband says something not even think about tea unless my husband says something and I get very absorbed into things and I think having kind of timings like right I'm going to spend two hours doing this and actually Tilly's book will really help with that because she's got like uh, small chunks of things that, that you can do in certain times and I'm going to try and do that a little bit more and that will work with everything and hopefully that will be kind of better for me so I'm going to reduce the amount of makes and I'm going to kind of have an aim of four makes per month and I think that that's manageable. It's like one per week, 
but it might be like if that's a t-shirt a t-shirt doesn't take too long but I'm gonna go for about that many if I don't make that many then that's not the end of the world but that's what I'm kind of thinking the other thing is regards to my fabric stash now, I've already started to address this with a D stash getting rid of the fabrics that I don't love but a lot of the fabrics I've got in my stash I absolutely love and I actually need to use them so I'm going to put a little bit of a limit on myself in terms of a budget to buy fabric each month and I'm going to use what's in my stash and so I, th I don't know if it's a bit too extreme but I think I'm going to try and do five out one in so every five garments I make or five fabrics I use I can get one new fabric and I'm not I'm really sure that it can work like that for me because I don't really operate like that uh, but it's good to think right how many things have I actually sewn how many new fabrics have I got and I think that that would be really important to just be a bit more considered about that the other thing that I would like to do and I have started this already as well is doing a bit of um, scrap busting so I've got quite a few scraps or smaller pieces that you can't really do much with so I've already started to do a few things which I will do a video on but including like draft excluders making wraps for presents and making scrunchies making like makeup remover pads and I am going to look into a few more things to use up those smaller scraps so hopefully I'll do that a little bit more so resolutions do my make nine hopefully look at reducing my stash in terms of actually using my stash be a bit more focused on planning allocating time and actually really focusing on building things that make me happy and not being too hard on myself when I don't get things done focusing on scrap busting so using up these scraps thinking about what I could do with them that would be helpful kind of around the home and the last thing is going to lots more sewing events spending time with friends and friends I haven't met yet and really trying to take part in more things in the community but as well with my friends and family um, aside from sewing as well let me know what resolutions you have made down below. Definitely like to see what people are thinking about for the coming new year. And I've been really enjoying seeing people's posts on Instagram, their make nine plans and other plans that people have come up with as well for this year. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.